welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're gonna just do a glam look. I don't know what to call it at this point, but there's just some products I wanna try out and we're gonna just play with makeup basically. Right, so before we jump into the video, I'm gonna do my post notification shout out and today's one's gonna to go to Sandra Mendez. So thank you so much for leaving a comment. If you guys wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment. So I'm just watching over the puppy at the same time whilst filming, my sister's not in, so if I keep looking away, ignore that. Right, let's just jump straight into the video. I'm gonna do a bit of a little bit of skincare because Tony Moly, I don't know if you guys have heard of them. I think, I believe I've seen some of their products in Selfridges in the Korean skincare bit, if I'm not wrong. So one of the things that they sent me, which was quite intriguing, was their Taco, I hope I'm saying that right, Pore Solution. It's a blackhead scrub stick. All the instructions on the box are in a different language, so I don't really know what to do with it, but I believe you're supposed to wet it and like rub it on your nose and leave it for a bit, I think. Let's just try that. I have no idea if I'm doing this right, so I'm gonna dip it in some water. Oh, so yeah, I think you're supposed to wet it. it says it effectively removes blackheads. I don't see it doing anything right now. Oh my god, there's actually some dirt on this. What? I don't know if there's that that's the product itself, but there's some like kind of like a warm tone gunk on there, a bit too much info, but I don't know. Oh my god, it has like a scrubby it has like hard bits in it. But I can actually I can feel it a bit more now. I guess I can take that off. I'm just gonna wipe that off and put a little bit of water. Right, I can't confirm that's done anything. My nose feels a bit smoother because it does have a scrubby bit to it. But I just think I have to keep using, like with all skincare, I just have to use it a bit more. I'm now going to use some of the Elasticity Pomegranate Mask Sheet. Same, it's also from Tony Moly. Their packaging's so cute, but I swear I've seen these in Selfridges. I swear I have. Um, these were sent to me, by the way, so I was like really curious to try them out. It's nice and cold. Do you know what I need to get? I need to get those sheets that you, once you put a mask sheet on, you kind of like stick it onto your face on top and then you put it behind your ear so that the mask stays on. Cause sometimes with these, they kind of fall off as long, like whilst you wear them. So I really need to get them. I think I could maybe get them on eBay. Tear open and apply to face, leave on for 20 minutes. So I guess I'll be back guys. So I'm going to take this off now. Whew. I have no idea if I'm supposed to like keep this stuff on, so I'm going to rinse it off. I've got some water on my tissue here. I love it when I just use masks. My skin feels so like supple. supple. Right, I think now we can move on to makeup. I'm going to use some of my Le Creme Concentré moisturizer i would put spf but literally i'm gonna go to bed after this so i'm not gonna bother with that so to all you game of thrones fans like did you enjoy the last season i don't know if i really liked the last episode i did like the storyline of it i wasn't expecting it but i don't know my favorite episode was i think it was a long night uh episode three i think that's what it's called but it was my favorite episode and most of it was good, some of it didn't make sense, a lot of plot holes. But overall, I can't say like I don't, I didn't like it, I did. I might actually pop some primer. Uh, I've been really liking this HD makeup primer by um, Bella Pierre Cosmetics. I did try this in a recent video. I'm just gonna pop this on. It literally instantly smooths my skin it's like blurs what the hell Ew. you probably can't see on camera but it does really help 
I'm now going to use the Nymph Body Highlighter by Huda Beauty. This is in the shade Aphrodite. I've learnt not to put a lot of this on my face. And I'm only going to put it on my cheeks and just where I want a bit more of a glow. Yes. A bit here as well. Right, for foundation, I need to get some new foundation. I actually don't know what to wear. I think today I'm going to go for the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation in golden. But before we do that, let's do brows quickly. Oh my god, like I have been loving this Bushy Brow Precision Pen by Lime Crime. Honestly, if I run out of this, I need to get some more. I can't live without this stuff. It's just made my eyebrows look so nice and bushy and like hairy. I know it sounds wrong, but it's so nice. The tip is so thin. I do use the shade Smoky and literally I just run like a few lines through my brows. I'm then going to take some of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just carve them up a bit. A bit of Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sun on my lids. Again, I still need to get the P. Louise um, eye bases because I really do like that, but she's come out with more shades. I'm now going to use the Venus XL palette by Lime Crime. And I'm going to go for the shade Triumph first. I, agree, so I really want it like super smoky. So we're going to try and get that finish. These eyeshadows are so pigmented, like when I first used them they were so nice. I'm then going to grab the shade Burnt Gold which is kind of like a matte brown. I'm just going to pop that on top. I want to like change it up a bit so I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadows in the shade Dinero. Dinero. Gosh, if you have a kit, you need all of these in your kit. Like, they will not budge. They're so sparkly. They're just so nice. I'm actually really happy with the way that looks. I might grab a bit of Botticelli, which is a super dark shade, and just like pack that on the corner there. Might actually use it as a liner as well. Whilst that shadow is still drying. I am living for this eye look. It wasn't even that hard to do, but it looks so pretty. I think I'm going to use this Kiko one. And then for lashes, I was recently sent a bunch of lashes from Blinksy Lashes. These look so stunning. The packaging's really cute, and you've got like the eyes that do this. These are in a style Diva. They're like really fl like fluffy and buttery, so I'm gonna use buttery. I mean, like butterfly lashes. What am I on about? But yeah, these look stunning. Oh, 
Right, so these are what these lashes look like. I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. I am not mad at this Huda Beauty Glow. Like last time I used way too much. I couldn't even post the video. So this is why I'm kind of like redoing it. Um, now we're gonna put some foundation on. Just gonna use my damp beauty blender. I'm gonna press this into the skin. For concealer today, I'm going to use the Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in Neutral Tan. I thought I'd use the concealer as well. I'm just going to pop this all under. I tend to use way too much concealer. So I'm trying to just be a bit more light-handed. If you don't have the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation or the concealer, you definitely need it, if, especially if you like a more fuller coverage. Then for cream contour, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Tantor in light. It's so weird, I never use anything in light. <laughs> I've been using this a lot and I've realised I do prefer it like with a sponge. For sure. It's just easier to blend and it looks a bit more softer. I'm also going to put a bit of the shade medium. I don't know, I love these Huda Beauty like bronzers, they're so beautiful. Now for setting powder, I'm going to use the Barry M Ready Set Powder in, I don't know, I think this is the banana, banana one. Pack that under. Now to be honest, I don't do this on a daily. I just literally lightly set powder these days. I don't really have much trouble with concealers creasing on me. I feel like I've just, I love my Tarte Shape Tape and it just stays in place. Like the L'Oreal um, More Than Concealer is a really good one as well. Uh, these NYX ones are really good too. Um, and I just blend them. Sometimes I go without powder, but anyways. I feel like I would only do this when it's really hot. When it's, start, it's starting to get really hot, I'm going to start using powder more because I do sweat. I'm going to grab the shade Flora, which is like a super fluorescent colour. Grab that Kiko Mascara. I feel like I need a bit more colour to my skin. So for bronzer, for bronzer I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. This is in the shade 35i. Yeah, that's so beautiful. Gosh, my skin looks so soft here, what the hell? For lipstick, I think I'm going to use one of the Huda Beauty new ones. I'm actually going to film a lip swatch video for this, but I thought, let me just wear one right now. I think I'm going to use Rendezvous. I'm going to need a lip liner for this one. I'm going to use the Rimmel Full Colour Lip Liner in the shade Under My Spell. I got this Topshop polished glow pot. You 
You don't want to use too much of this because it can go a, maybe a little bit ashy. It's quite light, but it blends really nicely. Alright guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am loving this look. Let me know what you guys think. It's definitely different and I love the combination on the eyes. It's so pretty. And the skin, oh my goodness. I definitely recommend that primer, especially if you've got pores. It's really smoothed my skin. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. I definitely had a ton of fun doing this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!